Dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to tell you something. Please watch video completely and sit with copy pen. And if you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. If you find anywhere some problems or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share, and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Now here is the question. A prism is shown in the figure with angle 75 degree and refractive index root 3. A light ray incidence on a surface at incident angle theta. Other face is coated with a medium of refractive index n. For theta is less than or equal to 60 degree, ray suffers total internal reflection find value of n square. This question is asked J.E. Advance 2019 paper second. Now in this question, here the ray of incident with the first surface making angle theta is the normal and here the first refraction. And then here this surface is coated and the refractive index is n. It is given and here refractive index let us suppose that is mu equal to root 3 and here mu is uh, mu 2 is equal to n. Okay. So here in this second surface the total internal reflection phenomena is applied in the second surface. So one by one we have to get in and then find the value of n square. Okay. So first of all, we have to take in the first surface applying the snail's law mu equal to sin i upon sin r. Here, the material, the refractive index of the material is root 3 is given. Sin i, here theta is given less than or equal to 60. So therefore, we have to take in here 60, i equal to 60 and uh, sin r. So here sin r equal to sin 60 upon root 3. And what is the value of sin 60? Root 3 by 2. Here root 3, root 3, root 3 cancel out. Then sin r equal to 1 by 2. Then r, <coughs> we know that very well sin r, it is the value of sin 30. So r equal to 30. So this angle of refractive first refraction R1 that is 30. Now we have to making this normal. As we know that this angle A, B, C, here A, let us consider O, here the O dash and A, O, let us consider this point is P, A, O, P and O dash that is cyclic quadrilateral because this is two normals making angle 90, 90 that is 180. So remaining angle 75 and this angle become 180 degree. So here 75 let us consider alpha equal to 180 degree then alpha equal to 180 minus 75 that is uh, 105. Okay. So here that is 105 by applying triangle sum property that is 105 plus 30 that is 135 and this angle means First angle of refraction that is 180 minus 135 that is 45. So here this angle, this angle is 45 degree. Okay. So now here this angle is 45 degree. Now for this surface, we have applied the concept of total internal reflection that is mu 1 mu 2 equal to 1 upon sin IC. Here IC means critical angle. Here critical angle is 45, 1 upon sin 45. You know that this phenomena of total internal reflection phenomena occurs for denser to rarer. It means this portion N is rarer medium and this is denser medium. So here mu 2 upon mu 1. Here mu 2 is mu and uh, mu 1 is rarer medium means n okay so this phenomena is uh, 
very important and uh, here you should have to be careful which concept when applying this concept that is always raise incident from dancer to rarer okay so here now substitute this value mu2 is mu and mu1 is n okay so 1 upon sin 45 then sin 45 equal to n by mu what is the value of sin 45 1 by root 2 n what is the value of mu that is given root 3 and n equal to root 3 by root 2 now squaring both the side then n square 3 by 2 what is the value of 3 by 2 1 and half mean 1.5 so here n square is 1.5 i hope so you have understood this question Thank you for staying till the end of the video and I remind you those who have not subscribed yet do it immediately by pressing bell icon. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.